So, let's look at how to build a super cheap and super lightweight super macro rig. I will first show you some examples of what kind of photos you could take with this rig. Uh, some photos from last weekend when I spent some time at my mother's house. And then I will show you exactly how you can build one of your own. I started getting interested in super macro photography a few months ago. So I started looking around, what kind of lenses are out there? The most obvious one that most people have seen who have researched this kind of lenses is the Canon MPE65. That one is pretty nice, it has a magnification ratio of 1x to 5x, but it is rather expensive and I thought that I don't want to spend like $1200 just to try this thing out, I would like something cheaper. But I soon discovered that there aren't that many cheaper alternatives. There is a lens from Venus Optics which is a bit cheaper, but that one only goes up to 2x and it has some problems with distortion. Then after some more googling I discovered an article on a Swedish site called Macrofocus and this article which this whole setup is based on which you should go read, I have linked it in the description. It explains how you can build your own super macro lens for only about 230 US dollars, including shipping. You simply buy a few parts from Amazon or eBay and put them together yourself. Uh, the whole setup is based on a reverse mounted Canon 40mm lens. And it's pretty easy to just find the parts and put it together yourself and the resulting images I think they are really really nice. And actually to some extent I think that the image quality you get with this setup is actually better than with the Canon MPE65 because with the Canon 40mm lens reversed you have rounded aperture blades which gives you a nicer bokeh and the sharpness is just as good as with the Canon 40mm. So, let's have a look at how to build this thing. First you need a camera. Any camera that can mount Canon EF lenses will work. I have a Sony A7 with a meter bones adapter, but of course you could just as well use a Canon camera. You need an extension tube. 36mm is a good place to start, as it gives you a magnification ratio of about 2.3x. It's good to put some black velvet inside of the extension tube to avoid reflections, which can harm your contrast. Then you need a Mikey MKCUP reverse mount adapter, which basically gives you the ability to put any Canon lens on reversed while maintaining aperture control. And this is really nice. Here you see the Canon 40mm lens. You can get it used for about $50 on eBay. You also need a step-up ring for this lens. Uh, you can find a link in my description. As always, cover the inside with black velvet to avoid reflections. The black velvet, you can buy it on like a hardware store. On the front, I've put a UV filter. This is of course totally optional, but it's nice to not get a lot of crap inside of your lens when you're out hunting for insects. I also put some white tape on the front so that I get some more reflective, reflected light on my subject. Okay, then you need a flash cord. Any flash cord will do. Any flash cord that works. I have a Viltrox one. I'm putting a link in my description to some flash cord that should work. I also have to put a Sony to Canon adapter on my flash cord because I'm going to use a Canon lens in this setup. The adapter you can also find very cheaply on eBay or Amazon. This is the flash, a Mikey MK300. It's a super great flash because it's very very cheap and it's very very small and light and you don't really need a lot of power for a macro setup so this flash is perfect. The only thing that's important is that you can put it close to your subject and that is why we need this flash cord. A straight flash bracket. I got one from Velo and I'm really happy with it. This is so that we can mount the flash in a way that 
puts it closer to the front of the lens. I could have put the flash on top of the camera, but probably the, the light wouldn't really reach in front of the lens and I would also have to use a much stronger setting on my flash which would drain the battery a lot quicker. Alright, now we need something to mount the flash. And this something is an articulating magic arm. Uh, there are like hundreds of these on eBay and Amazon. Uh, I find that most of them have decent quality, so just buy one that has good ratings and it should be okay. The magic thing with this arm is that you can just twist and bend it however you like. And when it is in a position that you want, want it to be, you simply twist the little lever on the middle and it will freeze in that position. It doesn't always work perfectly, but it works well enough. Alright, let's, let's twist it in place. Ta-da! Then you need a diffuser. Uh, I made one from a plastic bottle and a rubber band. You want the diffuser to be as long as possible, but it should never extend beyond the point where the focus is, uh, because otherwise it will be in the way when you're trying to photograph something that sits on a flat surface. Alright, and that's it. That's the whole setup. And I think that if you want super high magnification with a macro setup, you couldn't get much lighter than this. You have the lightest camera here, the lightest full frame camera at least, and the lightest lens that I know of, and the lightest flash, so it weighs in at about 1.6 kilos. This setup, it's so much fun. As I said, I spent the whole weekend at my mother's place in her big garden, photographing insects and bugs and everything I could find that is small enough to fit on a 2.3 times magnification. I really recommend you to try this if you want to get into high magnification macro photography. It's very cheap, you can find the parts easily. Please follow me on Instagram or 500px, my name there is MWRoll. And please subscribe to my channel if you want more photography tips like this one.